In this video, we are going to learn about two basic concepts of Udo. First is implementation of on change, and the second one is implementation of a dynamic domain on a field based on another field. So let's jump into my Udo. This is my Udo 16 community. Here we will implement both of the concepts. First, we will implement the on change and then we will implement the dynamic domain so let's go on to my sales module let's click on new so this is our basic quotation form and here we have quotation template now what i want is when i change a customer a quotation template related to that customer should come automatically in the quotation template in order to achieve this facility i should have a customer field so here we need a customer field based on that customer we will show the related quotation template in the quotation so first we need to add a customer field in quotation template okay so this is my module i am going to add a quotation file python file quotation template sale order template.py here I am going to inherit the model of quotation template. Let's name our class as sale order template. And let's inherit sale order template. Now I am going to create a simple partner many to many field from the model res.partner. Next I am going to add this Python file in my init file. And we have to be sure that we add sale module as a dependency in our manifest file. Next, I'm going to add a view so that my partner field or my customer field is visible on the front end also. So I'm going to create a record and here we are going to inherit our quotation template form view to add the customer field. Let's name our view this can be any custom name then we are going to give the model and this should be the same that we are going to inherit sale order template Next, we are going to specify the form view id that we are going to inherit in this case our form view id is you can check it quickly by going to edit form view from the debug menu and as the form view is related to sale management module we have to add its dependency in the manifest next i am simply going to add my customer field i want it to be added after company and the name of company field is company id so we will create an xpath and expression will include field name company id and because i am going to put it after the company id field i will just copy the name and put it here and that's it now we are going to add this xml file in the manifest and let's restart and update our module restart the Odoo server and let's upgrade our module and once it's updated we will see it in the quotation template that the customer field is added now let me fill some customers so what i want is that when i create a quotation and i select a customer let's say this customer then the quotation template related to this customer should be filled automatically on change of this customer so this is the function that we are going to achieve now let's create a new file name it as sale order and in this file we are going to inherit the sale order model which is basically our quotation model let's just import important things first 
let's create a class sale order and let's inherit sale dot order model now we are going to create an on change method the decorator that we are going to use for this is api dot on change and inside the bracket we are going to define the field name which is partner id because we want the trigger to happen once somebody changes the value of this field so we are going to specify a function that will be triggered once the value of this partner id field is changed let's name it as set quotation template so let's do the python code which says that if the partner id exists then we have to take the quotation template related to that specific partner so i'm going to simply search the quotation template from the quotation template model which is sell order template let me first put the model name here and then i'm going to use search method in the search method i will put the condition that if the partner id is equal to my quotation partner id then return that quotation template so if we get the quotation templates and the length of the templates is one which means there is one template existing for this specific partner then we will set that value in our sale order template id which is basically the quotation template field that's it now this function will basically perform the feature that if we change partner id it will look for the related quotation template and will populate that specific template in the quotation template field on the sales order or quotation let's restart and upgrade our module now let's go to the quotation and let's change the customer and as you can see that once i change the customer the related quotation template is automatically populated now if i change the customer name here in the template to this customer and i go to the quotation and select this specific customer the template will be updated automatically but we want the value of this field to be removed if the partner the selected partner or customer does not have any related quotation template so we'll just put it false now if i refresh we are restarting our my Udo server we can see that if a customer does not has the related quotation template it will not get updated automatically next topic that we have to discuss is dynamic domain in this part of the video what we want is if a customer has more than one quotation template then rather than updating or populating the quotation template field on quotation or sales order view it should show the list of related quotation templates only in that specific field so let me first put some customers in the quotation templates so now if i select a customer only the quotation templates which are related to this customer should appear in this list for that we have to put another condition in our own change method which says that if the length of quotation templates which mean that there are more than one quotation templates for this specific customer then we are going to return a domain rather than populating the field and in the domain 
we have to specify the field name which this domain is related to and then we will return the domain basically list of records the condition for those records will be the same that is the customer in the quotation template should be equal to the customer selected in the sales order or quotation so this is how we are going to return the list of only related quotation templates let's restart our Urdu server and refresh and let's check it and here as we can see that if a quotation template is there and there is only one quotation template related to a customer it will be populated automatically otherwise the list of the customers related quotation templates will be coming now if there is only one quotation template related to a customer in that case also it should return the related quotation template in the list also so let's just copy this code and paste it and let's restart our Odoo server and test it again so you will see that if there is more than one quotation templates related to a customer or if there is only one only the related quotation templates will be coming in the list in case of one it will be populated also this is how you can use on change and dynamic domains in on change method in Odoo to perform different features thanks for watching and do subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one